Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create 3D elements using Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's start. Okay, guys, this is the material that I have. I have these pictures is the silhouette of a wine glass. And then I have this wine bottle in a silhouette you see it's a jpeg format also i downloaded this uh, font that looks very nice for my project um you can go to many different websites to download fonts i'm going to put a few ones on the links down below and then if you can double click on this font you can just select here install or if you are on pc you can just right click and you can select install font and then i have this little silhouette of a cat in Sci uh, Illustrator document is the only thing that I have as a vector. All the other ones are pixels. I'm going to double click on this. And this is the um, cat that I have. This is the logo that I'm going to use uh, for my wine bottle. All right. And you see it's a vector file. If I put outside, I have transparency. OK, um, the first step, what I would like to do, I would like to design kind of a label, something like that. Um, how I can start uh, first, let's say I'm going to create a rectangle. Okay. Something like this side, because it's going to be the side of the label. Then I'm going to send to back. Okay. You can go here to the object arrange and then select send to back in illustrator. In addition on the properties panel, I can change the color. Okay. From here, I can click there to select any of the swatches, or I can go to the palette that I have here. And on the top right, I have the Hamburg menu to select any of the color. You can select in this moment, for example, CNYK. That is for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And here on this spectrum, I can select whatever color. For example, I'm going to select that one. I'm going to round it a little bit by those percentage, okay, 25 and 80. All right. And then uh, what I would like to do, I would like to switch the cat to white. Okay. In that case, I'm going to select the selection tool. One click on the cat. I'm going to put that around here. I'm going to select on the fill and then I'm going to move this one to zero because I would like a white cat on that part. Okay. And then um, let's say I'm going to put text on that area. In that case, I'm going to select my text tool. Okay. And I'm going to do one click on this area. All right. And then from here, I'm going to increase the size on the right. I have this font, but I would like to change for the font that I install. First, I'm going to increase a little the size. Let's say around, let's say 48 points. I'm going to center the text. Okay. And then if you remember, I installed this font, the Juliet. The only thing that I had to do, I had to highlight the number, the name there and you, and then you can see Juliet is there. Okay. That is the way that I can add that font. I'm going to decrease maybe a little bit 36. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. And then I'm going to put here, for example, the name of the wine. Let's say. Okay. And then on the lowest part, I'm going to uh, create more text here. I'm going to do one click. Okay. But if you do one click, you will see the Lauren Ipsum. But I'm going to change for another font. And select any font here. For example, I'm going to select, let's say, Montserrat. Um, I'm going to dark this one, maybe regular. Okay. And I'm going to reduce the size, let's say, to 24 point, something like that. Okay. And I'm going to call this one, let's say, Pinot Noir. Okay. Just to put something pretty simple. Okay. And one of the things that I would like to do, I would like to. Um, have maybe the um, the label with two colors okay on the same color i'm gonna just copy this label i'm gonna select edit copy and then i'm gonna select here edit paste in place you're gonna paste on the same place i'm gonna shrink this half the size something like this and then i'm gonna change the color this a little darker if you want something darker you can work with the cnyk and add for example black but instead of that, I prefer to change this to the HSB, stand for hue, saturation, and brightness. And then I can reduce the brightness here. And then maybe I'm going to increase a little bit the saturation. It's a very nice way to 
work. Okay, then I would like to send to back. I can just right click, arrange, and then send to back. But now is in the back of the big rectangle. What I can do is right click again, arrange, bring forward, and then just one step to forward. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select here this text. I'm gonna move a little slightly down. I'm gonna change the color to white. Okay, and then this is going to be my label. All right, I have everything. Okay, then select everything. Oh, maybe I'm gonna shrink a little bit because it's a little big on this part. All right, select everything. And then what I have to do, I have to send this inside the symbols panel. I'm gonna go to the window menu and here on the lowest part, you have the symbols panel. On the symbols panel with everything selected, just click here to create a new symbol. Just create there. And now I'm gonna call this one, for example, uh, the cat, just to put something. Okay, and that is the name of my label. And also I would like to create a, a small icon just with a, with a little cat, okay? In that case, I'm gonna double click to enter inside the symbol. I'm gonna select the cat. I'm gonna go to the edit copy, double click outside to go outside the symbol and then I'm gonna edit paste. Okay, and then here I have just the cat. And maybe I'm gonna use one of these color, maybe this one, I can use my eyedropper and I can click on that color and you have just the cat as a symbol. Okay, and then I'm gonna click the plus, I'm gonna select here the cat too. And I have those two symbols inside my symbols panel. We will go back to the symbols panel. Now I can delete this element and I am going to place the other element. So let's go here to the file menu, select the option place, navigate in your desktop or in any part that you have this material and select here the wine and I'm gonna select place. And then I can click here. If you see that is the wine bottle, I'm gonna press command minus to zoom out and I'm gonna hold on the shift and I'm gonna shrink a little bit the bottle. And then I'm gonna zoom in. By the way, guys, you can go to the internet and if you search wine bottle silhouette, you will find a lot of different ones that you can use for this project. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna put this one a little outside just to show you I have this white background. What I have to do, I would like just half of this bottle because guys, in 3D simulation in Illustrator, what you have to do, you have to create just the profile, all right, same thing for a cup, a glass of wine, or so on. In that case, what I'm going to do, if you zoom in a lot here, you will see these are pixels, okay? And then I would like to convert this in vector. What I have to do is go here to the right, and I have the image trace. I'm gonna click there, and I'm gonna select silhouette because if you select silhouette, now you will see I don't have transparent background. And then I'm gonna hit expand, and as soon as you hit expand, now these are real vector, this is a shape, it's not pixel anymore. If I zoom a lot, you can see those are shapes, lying super sharp, okay? All right, but now what I have to do, I have to erase half of this bottle. Okay, in order to do that, I can use the eraser tool. This is the eraser tool. If I put the eraser tool here, I can start erasing like this. Okay, but this is not my idea. What I have to do, I'm gonna put the eraser tool on the bottom part of the bottle or on the top, which is the same. Hold on the option key on Mac or the Alt on PC and click and drag to the left to cover the left part of the bottle. Can you see? I'm creating a big, rectangle with the same eraser tool and then let it go. And look at that, now we have half bottle. Then what I have to do, I would like to separate the part, the top area like the cork, because I would like to put the logo on the top with different colors and the bottle itself. In that case, the tool that I can use is here inside the eraser tool, I have the scissor, okay? And then with the accessor tool, what I can do, I can cut this top part. I'm gonna zoom a lot here. 
I'm gonna press Command Plus many times. And I'm gonna do one click here on this anchor, click, and then I'm gonna do one click here on the left, click. Okay, and what happened now, if I select the, the top tool, the selection tool, if I click on this one, I separate these two. If I ungroup, you see here on the right, I have ungroup, ungroup, and then I deselect, and then if I select the top area, you can see, you can separate that, right? In this case, I'm gonna select the, the color. I would like to go, for example, to the CNYK, and I would like to select a color, maybe a very dark purple or very dark red. Maybe that color looks nice. And for the bottom part of the bottle, I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna go do the same. I like black, but, okay, to the black, I am going to add magenta, okay, a little yellow to have a very dark bottle, very dark red or magenta, something like that. The top part is not that dark, okay, but the bottom part is pretty dark. Then select both. You can do one click on this one, hold on the shift and click on the other one. And let's group again. On the bottom right, I'm gonna select here, group. Zoom out and put the bottle here. Oh, look at this, how we can create the 3D. What you have to do is go here to the properties panel, click on these little effects. By the way, guys, if you have an older version of Illustrator, you won't be able to see the properties panel. Probably you will see on the effect menu, you can go to the effect menu here, 3D, and then you can select here, revolve. All right, let's continue. Click here on the, um, on this icon, I'm gonna select 3D, and I'm gonna select here, Revolve. And look at this. This looks very nice, okay? You can see that is the bottle. Here I have a cube, and you can move this cube actually to put the bottle on different position. Or you can go back here to the off axis front, and that is the position by default. Also, there is one thing that is pretty cool, you can change the perspective. If I go here, I'm gonna add a little perspective. Let's say, for example, 40 points, something like that. And you can see it looks a little more natural perspective on this bottle. Then on this area, I'm gonna select more options. Inside more option, I have option that you can change the light source. Okay, look at how I can move this to different areas. Okay, I can change the ambient lights. I can increase the ambient lights to the right. I'm gonna increase a little more. And you can see there are more lights there. And then the highlight size, can you can do many different changes to work with the 3D. Also, I can add another light, okay? If I click there, then I can put, for example, this light here, or maybe I can put all the way to the left. And you can see, I can start playing around with the light and position on different areas. In that case, I am gonna select this light. I'm gonna throw it away. I can just delete because I would like just one light on this bottle. All right, in addition, I have plastic shading. You can select many different options. For example, look at the white frame. It looks pretty cool also. All right, I'm gonna go back to the plastic and I'm gonna work here on the lowest part with the map art. Look at this. If you click there, okay, what's gonna happen now you will see a mesh over the bottle, and this is the area that you can apply a symbol. And I have five different areas. For example, if I hit here, you can see how it's changing to different areas. Okay, for example, this is the top part. And for example, there, I would like to apply the little cat. I'm gonna select the cat too. And here I have to reduce the size a little bit, shrink it holding down the shift key. Okay, then release, and then I'm gonna move to the clear area because that is the part that you can see. Okay, and I'm gonna shrink a little more the little cat, and I'm gonna put around here. Then I'm gonna um, go to another surface, the number one, and I'm gonna select the label itself. Okay, I'll look at that. I'm gonna shrink again, holding down the shift, something like this, and then I'm gonna put the label, let's say, around here. But one thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna select here, Shade Artwork. If you click there, you will see it's going to adapt the same light that you have here on the bottle. It will adapt that light here on the label. Maybe I'm gonna put a little more up this part. 
You see, this looks pretty cool. That is the way that you can create a pretty fast 3D simulation. I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm gonna click OK, and you have something like that. Of course, you can continue playing around, but now I'm gonna put the, um, the glass, the wine glass. I'm gonna go here to the file. I'm gonna select place. I'm gonna select here the wine glass, select place, and it's here. I'm gonna put a little side to show you that it's a white background and let's repeat the process. Image trace, select silhouette, and then expand. I'm gonna increase the, the size of this. This looks more like a champagne. I'm gonna squeeze, I'm gonna stretch like this. Okay, maybe that is much better. And remember, we need just half of this. In that case, I'm gonna select the eraser tool, which is inside the scissor there. I'm gonna put the mouse beneath here. I'm gonna click and drag, holding down the option or the alt, and now we have just half a glass. All right, but then there is one thing that is very important that I have to do. I have to erase all this area because somehow we need just the profile. But I'm gonna show you one way to do it without using the eraser tool like this, because this is one option that you can do. But instead to do that, let me show you another way. Select the white arrow, the direct selection tool, okay? And then one click on this little anchor, click, okay? And if you notice, guys, here, I'm gonna zoom a little more. If you notice, this one is highlighted and selected but not this one because this one is white, this one is white and others. But this one, I am going to move down like this all the way down around here. You can hold down the shift key if you want to go straight down. And then look at this handle. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag like this to create a nice curve like that. Oh, look at that. Now I have that profile there. It looks very nice, okay? And also for this corner, I can click there, okay? And you will see this little dot that you can click and drag down if you want a nice curve as well. You see, that is the way that we can create a nice glass. Then I need the content. And for the content, I'm gonna use the pen tool, okay? And this part is pretty easy. The only thing that you have to do is this. Look at this. First, I'm gonna do one click around here. Just click. Then hold on the shift. Start moving to the left until you can see intersect. Click there, okay? Go down until here, click there, and then release the shift and click on the beginning. We have a simple triangle. Then inside the pen tool, you have the anchor point tool. And with that one, I can position my mouse until you see that little icon that indicate it's a curve. You can click and drag like this to create a nice curve, this is going to be like the wine inside. Go back to the white arrow. I'm gonna change the color, actually. I'm gonna put here, let's say a swatch, maybe this color like a wine. I'm gonna select the glass, and I'm gonna put a very light gray. Okay, but the, the wine glass, um, I'm gonna put the wine, maybe touching the, the glass, something like this. And then you have to select both. Select the wine glass, select uh, this um, content together. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put next to, and then go again to the effect 3D and select revolve. Okay, I look at that, looks very nice. Maybe I'm gonna add a little perspective as well. Okay, because I would like to show like the other one. All right, I kind of like that, like that. I'm gonna click okay. And look at that, this is the final result. It's looking pretty good. There are many other things that we can add, guys. For example, we can add shadows on the bottom. We can add many other things. Um, but this is a pretty cool tutorial for you guys to how you can work in 3D, guys. All right, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. See you on the next one. Bye.